Hail is loving universe at Xander, and welcome back to Pokemon Platinum. Last time, we took down two of the Galactic Admins at Lake Valor and Lake... I don't remember which one it was. It's been a day. Anyway, off screen, I took um, Ares around and trained her up. She's now level 40 on par with the rest of the team, and she learned Aura Sphere. So yes, uh, she's now on par with the rest of the team, not counting the barrel. But the barrel is not officially a team member, so that's fine. So let's get the team healed up here. Something I should have done off screen, but you know, that hasn't stopped me from not doing it before. Team's all healed up now, so that's good. But we're actually here in Heart Home City for a pretty good reason. And it's not actually... Good job, Xander. Yep, just great job on my part there. So let's go into someone's PC, deposit Pokemon, and deposit B-Barrel. For now. It, won't, it probably won't be for long, because we will need the barrel. And they are extensive move set, but it's not in here, is it? We're gonna be exploring for a minute. Is I got a access right here? Hell yeah! Oh, you're a trainer? That means you're using the Pokemon boxes. I love meeting end users. Oh, what's up? Why is that astonished look? Oh, right, sorry. There I go running my mouth again. My name's BB. You know the PC boxes? I'm the system administrator. I know this is a little out of the blue, but do you want a Pokemon named Eevee? Absolutely. Here you go. That Eevee, I got it from a good friend in June too, who has a whole lot of them. Who knows how many Eevee he's raised over the years. Sorry, that doesn't mean anything to you. Please be good to it. Yes, I would. Alright, sorry, I had to, had to grab the layout for this one. So, this is a male Eevee, and we're going to name it after someone I know that very much likes Eevee. This Eevee is going to be called Rapid. After my older brother Gavin, who uses the name Rapid Robin. So yes, Eevee is the sixth member of our team, and the reason we waited so long to get him was because he is only level 20. We need to go to Eterna City here. And for the time being, we do actually need to go swap a Pokemon out. Which one we're swapping out? Uh, well, we'll figure it out. We'll just kind of decide. And you see now it says BB's PC instead of somebody's. We need to grab the barrel, though. And we will... Um, who are we not going to use? We'll get Brandon a little bit of break for now. And you're probably thinking, Xander, you silly. Why don't give EB the experience here? Not yet. Because I do not want Eevee leveling up just yet. That is why. And while we're here, I do need to go into my TMs and HMs pouch. Use this Pokeball to spin us a bit faster. Open up the HM for strength. And we're going to change that to Barrel. In exchange for pretty much any move. We'll probably also need Rock Smash, and I'm not reteaching. Um, I'm not reteaching Twitter defog. So, so uh, there's gonna be a part where we should use defog, but I'm just gonna make do without because I'm not gonna swap out two Pokemon so that I can bring along Star Avian with us. So let's hear the a little bit slightly annoying. Bicycle music, and head out. Fortunately, we didn't have to hear it long, and let's pop out some Super Repels. We bought them a while back. I don't see a reason why we shouldn't use them. So we can now enter Mount Coronet from this way. And we can use Rock Smash now, which we've had for a while, but you get my point. 
here, use this, get this ice heal, which eh, we might need fairly soon. And this big boulder, we can use strength now. This is the new, this is the new bit. We can use strength to move boulders around. And get TM69 for rock polish. And some stardust. I did not even know that was there. I was just accidentally hitting A. And once you've used strength, this is the nice thing about it, it's still there. But you don't just exit on that side, because that side will just put you out near Celestic Town. You actually want to go up here, go around this corner, and down here. Here, we're a very foggy room now, but I kind of know my way around here. I've done this a little bit in the past. I had to do this a couple times now, so see if I can figure it out. There's pretty much no trainer. There are no trainers in this area, and it's only it's the only time we've ever got to go through here. But we do need to use surf on this water. And oh my gosh, it is significantly faster going this way. Get max elixir right there. And then we use Rock Smash here. Again, I apologize that I don't have Defog. I just decided I didn't need it in this case. We get an item here as well if we just push this rock out of the way. Got a revive now. Okay, I can't really get down there with that item that easily in the fog at least, but now we can go up this area, pops us out back in Mount Cornet, we come around here, this area will be useful later on, but I do think we can get an item in here now, so. Yes, the Never Melt Ice powers up ice type moves on Pokemon. Again, this area of the game will be useful one day, just not yet. Welcome to Route 216. This is where you see the true snow of the Sinnoh region. Oh, item. No, no, no. I really, I like the snowy areas of the Sinnoh region, but I also don't, if that makes any sense. Yeah, I don't know why I was trying to avoid them, like, I, whatever. To be ready to answer any call, to be ready to accept any challenge, that is the way of a trainer. Well, yeah, you're not wrong. Eight minutes in, we've got our first Pokemon battle this episode by Ace Trainer Maria with her Golduck. And Golduck does not have uh, the additional uh, Psychic type either, it's still just a Water type, so fighting moves should be fine. And of course, if you're not an ice type, then you're going to be buffed by hail. It's unfortunate, but it is the case. So don't go bring in a Shedinja in this area, I guess, is the what I'm trying to say. Well, it's not really what I'm trying to say, but you get my point. But isn't it uh, Ares? This is actually her battle debut. I just realized that. This is great. Worked really hard with her. Now she's she's just one of the team. She's part of the team. And Rapid? I'll train Rapid up off-screen, and Rapid will be part of the team soon as well. And don't worry, Rapid will be fully evolved before this episode's over, so we'll have a full evolved team. Boom! Aries level 41, not 51. Rapidash. Alright, now we actually want to get out of there because... Uh, Ares is part steel type with her fully evolved form, which means that fire would not be good for us. And we'll surf here. Oh, I seriously thought my surf had done that little bit of damage. I didn't realize that it hit first. But we're good. Down goes Rapidash. 
and I forgot Aerie still had the um, experience share, but it's alright. We're going to stay in for this one as well. Solid rock type, meaning water type, is going to be our best friend here. And it's something we actually outspeed. How about that? Plus, it's something I don't believe we've seen yet, this Let's Play. So, trainer of interest there for you. Same with Gold Duck, I believe. And hey, Worst Luck gets a level up out of it, too, so that's really good. Oh, yeah. Eat Snowball Punk. All right, then. We have another revive right here. This game's saving me money on revives. When I inevitably need a thousand of them to beat the game. Another trainer battle here. I'm fully kitted up and equipped. Anytime will be fine. Well, all right, then. It's trainer Laura with your Tropius. Let's see. So we actually... Also, this is a trainer of interest as well. Because now that I realize it, Tropius is... Uh, it's a harder Pokemon to find. But it's only in Platinum. It's not in Diamond and Pearl, as are a lot of Pokemon. I, are, I honestly forgot Tropius was in this game. But it's a grass flying type, very unique, meaning its only weaknesses are flying, oddly enough, and ice. Bug gets cancelled out by the flying type. And uh, fire is a weakness for as well. Okay. That's a heavy hit. Come on, Twitter, hang in there. Also, here's a fun fact because that's eh, timely at this point for my channel, I would think. ARW over on my other channel and on my Twitch channel is having its final episode on the 2019 wrestling game pretty soon. And, um, huh? And I just recorded it this morning after an interview with the delightful, the delightfully pleasant interview I had with Mr. Tom Campbell from Cultaholic. Uh, I didn't talk about that too much on YouTube because, or Twitch because, you know, it wasn't anything to do with YouTube or Twitch. Oh, hi, Maylene. Oh, Xander! Um, are you maybe on your way to Snow Point City? That's where I'm going too! If I use fly, I can get there instantly, but I'm walking for my training. No problem with this. I'm used to the cold because I go barefoot and lightly dressed. Achoo! Oh, that was nothing, really. I'm not cold at all. I'll be going now. Please take care. Oh, well, Maylene. Anyway, um... Alright, we're gonna swap out someone here. Alright, so now that we're on Route 217, actually. Wrong thing. But yeah, uh, I forgot to plug my microphone back into the PlayStation after my interview with Tom. And, um... I recorded a whole two-hour video with no audio to it. So I've got to try and make up all that. I might actually... This coal is nothing compared to the fire that burns in my heart. I'm probably just going to do an actual live stream with it. Like, just actually live stream it and talk over it. Why not, right? Might as well. It's annoying, but, you know, it's whatever. It's kind of the way I see it. Crap, I did not think Electabuzz would be faster than us for some reason. Hopefully this isn't one shot. Okay, we're gonna... Come on! why I can't have nice things. This is why I'm not allowed to have nice things. Yep. It's the absolute reason I'm not allowed to have nice things. It's really annoying. Down goes Electabuzz there. But yes, you will see in a moment that Rabbit has the experience share on Route 217 for an actual reason. Alright, we've 
Magmar. We'll stay in, actually. Magmar, another Pokemon that is not in Diamond and Pearl. It's actually only in Platinum. I mean, it's in the National decks, obviously, but if you just started with Gen 8, you probably don't know what that is. I say this. Oh, come on. It's funny, I say that about the National decks, but at the same time, eh, they, they may fix it, they may not. Who knows? I'd like it if they did, but I don't really think I can do anything about it. Fortunately, we don't. your heart burns as hot as mine, but being on Route 217, that's right! Rapids evolving! Rapid is now a Glaceon. I may not have had the layout ready. But that's perfect now. We have Rapid fully evolved. So now she will he will continue to hold the experience share. Because uh, Glaceon does not have any ice type moves yet. That's why we waited so long. And actually, uh, wait, no, I can save it. I'll have to save that. What's the Electrizer do if it's not? It is loved by certain people. Okay, I was hoping that maybe, just maybe, it had. It would actually work on. Um, it would actually work if I put it on Electivire, which is not even in the party right now. It's the one Pokemon I left. Although, uh, if you're. Oh, hi! Poof, you've got a good eye spotting me. Actually, I wasn't trying to spot you, but okay. Of course, my way of dealing with you is gone, so... That's annoying. Don't you dare. You suck! That's why I hate the Bulbapedia app. It's got so many freaking ads on it. I was looking at something about Glaceon. Great, I'm gonna have to get some heart scales to reteach it. It's only got one ice type move at the moment. The next one it learns will be at level 36, which yeah, it'll be in level 43. Those are, I, that's three ice moves, but. Find an Ultra Ball out here. Stretch our way through the freaking snow. Up here. An iron. There are a lot of items up here in the snow, and one that you actually really need. TM07 Hail, not what I'm talking about. See so this house here, you go a little bit further past it, and you find HM08 Rock Climb. There it is. As we push our way through the snow, which there's no way, there's absolutely no way to, um, not have the snow. Oh, I did just remember I can actually swap to the radar now. But yes, this icy rock here. Boulder encrusted with ice, it's bone chilling to the touch. That is why, um, that is why Rapid was able to evolve. Much like the mossy rock in Eterna Forest would evolve it into a Leafeon. So we could have had Leafeon if we really wanted to, uh, but we already had Torterra. Uh, and this is the only game I could think to use Glaceon in, really. Damn it, I... No! No! 
No, quit. I dress like wherever I go. Hiya. Dude, I want to battle you later, not while I'm injured. Black belt Luke. It's not fair. Very much not fair. God, if this isn't one shot, we're in trouble. That's fortunate. I'll go, like I said, I will be training up uh, Rapid off screen to get him caught up. Same way I did with Ares. It's not going to be hard. Just a little extra effort of my time. Oh. But hey, we got our fully evolved team now, so that's, that's good. The barrel, you're going to have to take a hit for me. Yep, of course. The barrel's just here to take a hit, so Twitter can get back out there. It's ridiculous, man. Sticking Machoke as much as I, as much as I like Machoke not helpful when he does that. God, you can hear it in Twitter's voice, too. Poor buddy. Alright, my choke went down, so that's good. We're almost to the end. Oh, yes, Rapid, you can absolutely learn what to... Uh, Get rid of sand attack. Also, Eevee is exclusive to Diamond and... Or is exclusive to Platinum. You do not get it in the main story of Diamond and Pearl. You actually have to beat the game to get that Eevee from Bibi. Little fun fact for you. And if you chose not to go all the way through Iron Island to get that egg from Riley, this is where you can see Rio Lu. I actually didn't know that. They updated that for this game. Because I had to go, Rio Lu was one of the ones I didn't see in the playthrough of Diamond I did because I just decided I didn't need to go on Iron Island. Achoo! We're almost there. Oh no. It's an unoptional battle, isn't it? Not optional. Oh no. Oh no. Game, why are you doing this to me? Knew it. What? What is it? P Pokemon battle? You're freezing! You're gonna die of hypothermia! Pneumonia? Olivia. Seriously. Chip. Of course, remember, this is, uh, this is Curlia. It's not a fully evolved Pokemon yet. It kind of sucks before it fully evolves, I hate to say it. But it kind of does. Well, I, well, I guess I can switch to uh, Twitter, couldn't I? Switch to Twitter, use close combat on it. That's fine, we'll just use Razor Leaf. Or we're gonna hit with a Dizzy Punch first. Whichever works, apparently.
At least Rabbit's getting some levels before I have to start leveling him up off screen. I feel like me leveling him up, leveling him up off screen. Excuse me, I'm just gonna get totally tongue tied before I say anything. Uh, I feel like me leveling him up off screen is better anyway, because that saves you guys the trouble of me being like, oh man, I gotta do this and this and this to get uh, Rapid here. That way, Rapid can do this and this and this. The same situation with Aerie. I just started leveling him up off screen, leveling her up off screen. That way, we could just start using her as soon as possible. I mean, it's not like I'm sitting here evolving Pokemon off screen or catching new team members off screen. Woo, you're alive, aren't you? Or, you know, getting gym badges off screen or something like that. Of course, we're up here to cure the light front. Hey, Xander! What? You finally come along now? Slow! Way too slow. Listen, Xander, see how the rocks are lumpy up here? You can't climb those rocks until you have the gym badge. Anyway, I'm off. Team Galactic, I'm coming for you. A little bit different from uh, Diamond and Pearl there. Barry is... There's no rock climb wall. There's actually just two Galactic runs blocking your way. Now... Oh, there's an item there that we can get. Get an Ultra Ball! And we have arrived! In Snow Point City, thank goodness. And yeah, there's an item down here, I want that item. We got another Ultra Ball! I have not had to buy a single Ultra Ball this game yet. How many do I have? Six! That's pretty good. Where's the Pokemon? Where's the Pokemon Center? I need it badly. Alright, well. While I search for the Pokemon Center to get medical attention, uh, I'll be back tomorrow for more of this, because good lord, we are, um... Oh, hey, Maylene. Brr. Hi, Xander. You taking on the gym challenge now? Hoping to see Candace soon, but I'm staying put until I warm up again. Oh, you should know that Candace is user of Ice-type Pokemon. I admire Candace. She's so studious. She wants to practice against me to learn about the fighting type. It's because the Ice-type matchups badly against the fighting type. Thank you all for watching this episode of Pokemon Platinum. If you liked the video, leave me a like. Tell me in the comments down below what you've in the series so far, and of course, don't forget to subscribe. It's free, it's easy, it will me out, and I'll see you all tomorrow for more Pokemon Platinum. Xander out.